Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn data structure and algorithm, which means creating an array without using NumPy Python library. As you know, uh, array can be classified as a single dimensional and multi-dimensional array. And we also uh, manipulate arrays using NumPy Python library. So, uh, so in this tutorial, you are going to learn without using NumPy uh, library. So to create an array, uh, we can use array module instead of NumPy module. So we import all uh, functions from array. This is, by the way, a built-in uh, library. So when you install Python on your computer, this uh, array module is uh, available in your Python uh, modules. So it is a default and built-in library to manipulate array. So this is the way how we can import. Uh, so this is uh, asterisk means just importing all functions, all uh, methods from the array module. That uh, so that is uh, very important. Uh, instead of uh, importing uh, each module, or I mean each function from the module, we can use asterisk uh, symbol. Just to, it's going to be uh, imported all functions from that module. Okay. How can we create a new array using array module? So this is array name. And instead of NumPy, we use array module. And this array function uh, takes two parameters, uh, uh, takes two arguments, the i, and the list of elements. Uh, so the list of elements are numbers. And the i is very important. That's uh, going to represent uh, unsigned integer of size two bits. So i is a bit, a bit code that represents unsigned integer, which uh, size of two bits. So we always pass this size into this function, array function, along with the list of uh, elements in the array function. So now we have created a new array using array module. And now we are going to print all arrays from the array, I mean, all elements from the array. To print out, uh, first of all, let's try to uh, see what are the uh, functions in the array? A very simple uh, way to print what are the functions in the array. Uh, okay, dear, then in dear function, we pass the array name we have created here and we can run this. So all the functions uh, imported from array modules are add class, contains copy, deep copy, a lot of very important other uh, very important functions are remove, uh, reverse from list, uh, index, insert, item size, type to list, to file, and so on. Pop, to pop, the, the last element, so we will see uh, some of them. Okay, now we are going to uh, print out all array elements from the array. So this is, those are the elements, list of elements in the array. So, so in this case, uh, we created a new array with uh, array elements. So we can access, uh, we, can, uh, we can print elements from the array using for loop to iteratively print out all array elements. For every array in the, for every element in the array, and we can print 
that element from the array. We can run and see all the elements are printed out. Okay, how can we ac uh, access, I mean, uh, uh, print out, or uh, how, how can you now, the number of elements, how many number of elements is in the array? So we can uh, just, uh, one is item size, uh, item size method, but there is also other uh, method, uh, a built-in method that is len. Len is a, a way to uh, now the number of uh, array elements or the size of the array. So we can just use len, then pass the array name into that function, len function, and we can print out how many number of uh, elements we have in the array. So we have five number of elements. We can count simply one, two, three, four, five. All right. Okay. We also uh, access array elements. How can we access array elements, a specific elements from the array? Using index method. Here, as we can see here, we can uh, see index method. Index method is available in the array module. So we can uh, access array element, a specific array element using index method. For example, if you wanted to print out the array element at index zero, you can refer by indexing. So array name, a square bracket, inside the square bracket, we just write the index or the position of the array element. The position starts from zero up to n minus one. n is the number of array elements. So we have five number of array elements. So the index starts from zero up to four. So the last element in the array represents at position four in this case. So we can print out this. So the first element, which means at index zero is the first element. So that is 10. And also, uh, we can also use indexing, uh, I mean, negative indexing. Negative indexing uh, starts from the last element in the array. The last element with negative indexing is at position minus one. And it's just counting down to uh, the last element, uh, I mean, the first element, and uh, starts from minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on, until the first element. So uh, the array element at position minus two is, that is one minus from the last element, which means the second element from the last element in the array. That is 30, 30. 30 is at position index uh, minus two or at position zero, one, two, three, at position three. All right. We also uh, insert new array element in the existing array using insert method. As you can see here, insert is uh, one of the methods in the array module. Okay to insert new array element. So for example, to adding 70 at index two, we can use array name dot insert and we can pass arguments. That is the index of that newly uh, inserted element and the new element separating by comma. So uh, this function going to add 70 at position two. So the old element, the old array element is at position two is 50, but at, uh, after adding uh, 70, the position uh, two will be, the element at position two will be 70, not 50. That changes because that's uh, going to shift the second element, uh, the third element, which or the element at position two uh, shift or move to uh, position three because of we are 
adding new element at position two. So this is the way we, how we can add new element. So we can refer simply the at position two is uh, the newly added element that is 70. Okay, we can print out all array elements after inserted new element in the array. Uh, previously, uh, at position two was uh, 50, but now 50 is shifted uh, to uh, position three. So because we have added new element at position two. All right, so now we have six elements because we added new elements in the existing array elements. Okay, if you wanted to delete any element from the array, we can also use a remove method to remove or delete element from the array. So array name dot remove, then refer the element that you wanted to delete from the array. So if you wanted to delete 70 from the array, so you can just uh, use a remove function or method and pass the element uh, uh, into that function. So we can print after deleted an element 70 from the array and we can check now uh, 70 is not uh, existed because we have deleted 70 from the array elements. Okay, what about uh, searching operation? We can also search array elements from uh, the array. So you can perform an array search by its value or index using index method. For example, if you wanted to uh, search the position of the index of the element 30 from the array, for example, 30 is found at position three. So we can just use array.index and we pass the element into that index function and it's going to be printed out the position of that element that is searching, which means at what position the element is found in the array. So the position and the element 30 is found at position three or index three. So this is searching operation. So you can search any array element using index. Okay, what about uh, updating the existing array elements? To update the existing array element, we can just use uh, array uh, indexing and assign the element into that position. For example, at position two, at position uh, two, it is 50. After updating the position two, it's going to be 80 instead of 50. 50 uh, changes to or modified by 80. Okay, so let's print out after adding, uh, update, updating the element in array, print i. All right, now 50, 50 is changed or modified by 80. So we can update any array element using uh, update operation. Okay. Uh, what about uh, if you want to print out the position of the index along with the values of that index, we can just print out uh, index for every element in the array. We can print index of that element along with uh, the element. So we can print this and we can see. At position zero, the array element is 10. At position or index one, the array element is 20 and so on. So we can print out the index or the position of the array along with the element in the array. So uh, for example, 
60 is found at index four. So we can simply visualize uh, like tabular form and we can simply understand uh, the element uh, at what position that element is found. So simply uh, just uh, referring that. Okay, so this is the basic operations of uh, array using array module. There are other operations, pop operations. Let's try to see pop. To pop the, the last element from the array, pop is one of the uh, deleting the last element in the array. Array name dot pop. And for example, we can just So just the last element in the array is 60. So just deleting or popping the last element from the array, pop function is just like that. We can print out after popping the array. Sorry. Now, 60 is already deleted because pop function always delete the last element from the array. Okay. So this is, those are the most important operations of array, uh, especially single dimensional array or one dimensional array using array module. If you want to work uh, more uh, complex uh, array manipulation, you can check out the functions, the methods which are available in the array module using their function, their function. So a reverse also we can check out a reverse that going to uh, uh, revert the array elements, the position of the array elements, or ascending or descending order, array dot reverse. So we can check out now the position of the array. Now the array element is reversed. The first element is uh, reversed to or changed to the last element the last element. So this is one of the function in the array. Okay, those are today's uh, lesson. Subscribe, watch, and like my YouTube channel, and also join uh, membership to receive an exclusive accesses or resources. Thanks for watching.